Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Mo Creatures mod for Minecraft. Um, but first of all, I really want to say thank you to the Enterprise. He has asked me to do the Mo, Mo Creatures mod. Um, so yeah, I want to say thank you to him. And if you guys have your own suggestions, um, put please leave them in the comment section. Maybe I'll do them. Maybe I'll check them out. Uh, but he commented eight minutes ago. It's actually probably about 30 minutes ago now. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to install this mod uh, for your current version of Minecraft. So first thing you guys want to do is check out the link in the description that says Mo Creatures uh, for your current version. Um, so it's just going to take you to this website right here. So you want to scroll all the way down. Um, you're going to go all the way down here to download the mod right here, which says in red. Um, so first of all, you want to really download the Mo Creatures mod right there. So just download and save that to your desktop just like that. So it will say Dr. Zarks right there, Mo Creatures. And then uh, second thing you guys want to do is uh, scroll down here to... Um, I'll give you a link for Forge in just a second. Um, but the, the GUI API um, right here, so if you guys download that and save it to your desktop, it should look just like that. Um, it will be an executable draw file right there. And then the third thing you guys want to download from this uh, Mo Creatures right here is the Custom Mob Spawner. So this right here with the Custom Mob Spawner, and it will look just like that. So just save that to your desktop just like that. So those are three things you need from that website. Um, now this website always gives also gives you a link for Forge, um, but it will just take you right here. So if you just click on the link in the description for Forge, um, you'll get this right here. Um, and this on the very top here will always be the current version of Minecraft Forge Universal. So um, it will always be the top. Um, so you guys want to always click on this universal version right there. And you guys want to save it onto your desktop just like that right there. So Minecraft Forge. Uh, that will be uh, Minecraft Forge Universal. Now there will be another link in the description called Optifine. Um, for those of you guys that don't know what Optifine is, it's a really great mod uh, for your lag. So if you guys have problems, issues with your lag, Optifine is a great mod. And it is compatible with this mod. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it. Um, but it is not required with this more creatures mod. So if you guys don't want to install it, that is perfectly up to fine and up to you guys. So once you guys have all those things uh, downloaded from the description and saved onto the desktop just like that, I'm going to ask you guys to go to your Minecraft and uh, I want you guys to get force update your game. So if you click options, force update, click done, and log in. Um, now the reason why we're force updating my game is because I, this is a really big mod, and I don't know if this mod is actually compatible with all the with all of you guys' mods. So if you guys already have mods installed, I do recommend to force update your game, and I uh, yeah, always. Always make sure to force update your game. Um, if you guys don't want to get a black screen, now, if you guys are getting a black screen, it's probably because um, you guys already had mods installed, you didn't follow my instructions. Um, but yeah, anyway, I always do recommend force updating your game or saving um, your or saving an extra copy, just like that. Um, just backing up your saves and stuff like that. So yeah, it's always it's always very good to force update your game. Now, once you guys are um, force updated, I you want to make sure you close out of Minecraft. Always make sure Minecraft is closed when installing mods. Okay, so once you guys have all those things done and you have force updated your game, um, what you're going to see down here on the bottom is percent after percent. Now, uh, you guys want to click on start and do you want to type in to start percent a p p d a t a. That's percent app data and another percent. And then you see this roaming folder in the very top. You want to click on that roaming folder up there. And you're going to see this dot Minecraft folder right here. You want to click on that dot Minecraft, open it. And you're going to see bin, resources, and saves here. You're going to want to open the bins folder, and you're going to see this Minecraft executable jar file right here. Now, if you just try to open it, it's not going to let you. So if you right-click on it and open it with WinRAR, you are able to open it. So um, if you guys don't already have WinRAR um, installed, there will be a link in the description so you guys can download and install it from there. And you guys are going to see this MetaIM folder right here. You're going to want to right-click on that MetaIM folder, delete these files there, and push Yes. Now, the reason why we're deleting that MetaIM folder is because... Um, if you leave that meta folder there, it does not allow your mods to run in Minecraft. You will get a black screen. So make sure you guys delete that meta inf there. And you guys want to open Minecraft Forge Universal. So once you guys have Minecraft Forge Universal right here, um, you're also going to see the meta folder there. Um, but you're going to want to leave that because that is part of Forge. So once you guys have that up, you're going to want to select all here. You want to drag all these files right into the Minecraft.jar that you open with an R and push OK. And you guys are done with the Forge Universal right there, so you can click on that. And uh, now the, uh, like I said, again, I'm going to show you guys how to install Optifine. Uh, but again, it's not required for your mods, so you don't have to if you don't want to. So if you just select all and drag all these files right into the Minecraft.jar, then you open with an R, push OK, and you are done with Optifine. And you guys are also done with the Minecraft.jar that you open with an R. So you can close that, and you're going to be back here where you open the Minecraft. Um, so if you click back one, you're going to see bin, resources, and saves again right there. Now, for this next step, um, I'm going to want you, after you've installed Forge and Optifine there, I'm going to want you guys to open your Minecraft, and I'm going to show you guys what it does. So if you see all those right there, 
um, let's move this over here just a little bit. If you just log in real quick, um, make sure this is Forge. So this right here is Forge Mind Loader. It's setting up your um, environment here. So you let that run. And you're going to notice that there was some extra folders added just because this Forge was running. So um, make sure that's running. And uh, if you guys are having issues there of getting a black screen, that's because you didn't before install Forge correctly or you guys already had uh, Mod Loader installed or something like that. So just make sure you force update. Anyway, um, once that's done and open, make sure you close Minecraft again. That is the big issue. Make sure you close Minecraft after you have opened it. And the reason why we opened it is because we wanted all these extra folders over here. So it, it created a config folder. It created a core mods, a mods, and a lib, and it added a bunch of things. Um, so, oh, oops, I actually clicked on something. Okay, um, so it's, yeah, just where you see bin, uh, the core mods, the mods, and all that right there. You're going to want to open this core mods folder right here. You're going to open that, and you're going to make sure this folder is empty. So if you have mods in there, delete them. Um, so make sure you guys open the core mods folder, and you guys are going to want to drag this GUI API right into the core mods folder, and you're going to want to go back again. Let's go back um, to where the mods are. So let's click on the mods there. This is the mods folder. So um, what we did was we, we put the GUI API into the core mods folder there. Then we're going to go back one. We're going to click on the mods folder. So you want to make sure this folder is empty again. So make sure if you guys have mods in here, delete them. And uh, you're going to want to drag the Dr. Zarks, uh, more creatures, and the custom uh, mob spawner uh, right into the mobs fol mods folder. Um, so once you guys have done that, that is completely done with the installation, and you guys are ready to play with the More Creatures mod. So hopefully this mod, this uh, video helped you guys. Um, I do apologize if I was too fast. Uh, just make sure you guys rewind and watch this video exactly like I do it. Um, it is the correct way to install uh, this More Creatures. It's a really fun mod. It adds a ton of creatures into your game and all that kind of some fun stuff. Um, so yeah, just make sure you guys follow this video exactly like I show you. Um, hopefully you guys, like I said, aren't getting a box screen. If you are, um, just force update and redo the video just like I show you. Um, so yeah, I do want to thank you uh, to Enterprise again because uh, he recommended the More Creatures mod to me. Um, I have seen it a long time ago, but I just, I just uh, never occurred to me to make an install video. So um, maybe... Uh, sometime in the future, I'll do uh, kind of a feature. Uh, Mole Creatures is a huge mod, so um, I will probably have some mod, mod reviews up there. Um, but that's probably something. I'm not going to do it right now. But um, what the Mole Creatures mod is, it's just crazy. There's a lot, a lot of animals. So um, I was thinking about splitting up into several videos and that kind of thing. You know, just featuring um, maybe the butterflies or maybe the, the elephants or, you know, the, the passive or the aggressive creatures. I don't, I don't really know how I want to do that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how to install for now. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching my video. 